<laughs> I was, every time someone's about to take a picture, I always make a last minute decision about how, what to do with my face. Yeah. yeah. But that's how you end up with things like, huh. Uh-huh. Right. 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 Oh. That's all right. Right here. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take over for a minute, Josie. See you there. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Community Cooking with the Co-op. I'm Paul Addis. I'm a librarian at the Coos Bay Public Library. Um, With us tonight, we have Tim Bolster, the outreach coordinator at the Co-op. Behind the camera, we have Alan Bartle, our cameraman. And tonight, we have a new chef, Josie Keating, who um, owns Josie's Art Lab here in town, which is down at 999 Front Street. We might ask her to tell us more about that uh, later when we have some downtime. But for now, we're going to turn it over to the cook at the co-op. Thank you so much, Josie, for doing this for the community. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. I am super excited and a little bit nervous. So when I get nervous, I do like try to get a little more jokey. So you'll have to mm-hmm. kick me under the table. <laughs> I start like I'll do stuff, like slow my own armpit. Or, anyway, I won't get into that. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. Okay. We're going to make oven baked chimichangas. Now, some of you have your butternut squash that we're going to roast put inside of it. Others have zucchini, onion, and we all have feta and other stuff. So what we're going to start with is preheating the oven, although I think everyone, you've been doing a great job, Paul, letting people know. Oven should be preheating to 450. And then... You have to decide how you're going to get the skin off of this mamba jamba. <laughs> if you're going with butternut squash. If you're going with butternut squash. The co-op has an actually really awesome peeler. So I'm going to peel. At home, I cry. I scrape my knuckles with my terrible peeler. I decide if I'm going to potentially kill myself and get out the big knife. But, you know, you do what feels right for you yeah so peeling is one thing i don't usually do with squash so this is something smart that i've never done with that. i've never just peeled squash but if they don't have a peel at all let's say then you use a knife then you and use a knife and do you have to roast it to get it soft enough to get the or no nope. okay okay cool. nope but if you are using a knife try to use a knife on a rolly thing that's not a good idea so i usually blah, cut it Cut both the ends off. Okay. Where are we? Are we right there? We're right there. Okay. And then sometimes I even cut it in half. Just to get it smaller. Just to get it smaller and a little more stable. Here you have this beautiful peeler. (laughs) (laughs) That's okay. This is the cut your pieces and now you're gonna kind of cut off the skin. Yeah, but honestly, this peeler is awesome. What I talk so So really okay. Yeah, so you created a flat surface for yourself. And now you're just going around and yeah. cutting the skin off. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh. One thing I forgot oh. to tell everybody is feel free to respectfully unmute if you have questions and or put them in chat and I'll feed them to Josie, the questions. Thank you. So you can peel or you can cut the ends cut. off, mm-hmm. the skin off. Cool. Okay. Okay. So let's say so, you have that piece right there. Sorry, if we if we were using zucchini, should we be dicing it right now? Um, or you can wait because I'm gonna dice it too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll get to that um, in just one second. So when I'm roasting things, especially if they're things that cook at different temperatures, like this squash takes a little bit of a while, I'm gonna cut this in a pretty small cube. Right. Um, the other thing I notice with squash is it gets mushy fast. So I want to, that's why we're cooking it at a high temperature. The only, I'm not a professional cook. I have no training. I've just made a lot of bad food. (laughs) That is how I've learned. So what I have learned is cook it really hot. So it it doesn't get mushy before it gets. Got it. So it's like the outsides kind of cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The inside stays a little bit firm. And if it gets mushy, oh, well, it's still going to be delicious. It's all going to go on a burrito and it's going to be great. Yes. Yeah. So. But for this, like, I'm going to roast my zucchini. I'm going to cut my zucchini bigger because it cooks quicker. And I'm going to pass this over to you. Sure. And what I do is I first I cut it in rounds. Yeah. And then I'm thinking like a, I don't, I don't know numbers. Um, half inch. Is that half inch? Mm-hmm. I want to put okay. an aerial view here. Would be good. Oh, all right, Alan, sorry. And See, Josie, we had um, uh, Mike wanted to know, wanted to know what size baking dish do, does he need for the recipe? 
I, you want something pretty big. We're using something like this, like uh, what what dimensions are this? 70 by 42, I think. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's like 20. I, I'm not going to guess. Standard, I, got, no, I, I, I think the visual gives us a good idea. 18 by 24. Okay. Oh, yeah. Alan is 18 by 24. He's doing construction right now. So he Thanks, Jesse. So, yeah, no, yeah, but no, pretty big. Small. It's hard to want to fit in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to continue this. Yeah. And you're going to move on to the zucchini. I'm going to move on. No, I'm going to peel this part. Oh, got, it, got it. And I'm going to show you. So then, with the innards, well, first let's get the outers. Just keep peeling. And sometimes you get a little when when it kind of curves. Where where are we? Right. We're right. Here. Okay. When you get a little like as it curves under, it's kind of hard to peel. Sure. So then I just kind of take it around. You know, just do what you have to do. And if you eat a little peel, oh well. You'll peel. live. I, I eat the peel. Do you really? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. When I roast them. I'll, yeah. I'll okay. Just, I just eat the. It's delicious. Okay. Yeah. And so these are being cut into kind of cubes. I'm just thinking, like, yep. with the zucchini, will it be kind of a similar thing? It will be, but yeah. bigger. But bigger. Yeah. They, they, they cook faster, and they don't need to be quite as small. Right? Exactly. So, okay. And we're Danny gonna... and Francis want to know if they need to use the parchment paper on the pan. Uh-uh, you don't have to. Cool. I never do. Cool. We might not. Yeah. I just got it out. I mean, just we can actually yeah. uh, people the, the word on the street is it, <laughs> it does do something. I'm always like, what is a piece of paper gonna do? And then my friend cooks her homemade pizza on uh on parchment paper and it's the perfect crust. So interesting. I, yeah, I actually at home I never use parchment. I don't paper. either. I get a little but here I don't in the know. deli they they recommended it for me yeah. uh, at the co-op. So I, I just I I don't and understand. And they're cooking all the time. It's, yeah, it saves on cleanup. One of the things I've noticed because if you use like a sweet potato or something like that, <clears throat> really <throat> caramelized, it's like it kind of makes a mess. Yeah, and everything like that. Uh -huh. that with, with the paper, it's just like you know, you just pick it up and throw it away, and then your pan's still clean. Right. You know? Yeah. So you can scrape it. Oh, sorry, Francis. I was just going by the name on the screen. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you want, what we could do is I could chop that butternut squash up if you want. Yes. And then you could show the folks, the folks at home, how to go with this. Zucchini. Sounds good. Before okay. I'm going to peel this out. Okay. This, the, the guts. We don't. Yeah, maybe that's too gross. <laughs> show. Got so. it. <laughs> We're going to de gut it. And I'm just scraping the innards out with a um, spoon. And if, again, if there's, uh, I am a little bit of a hack. Like I'm like, Ugh, if yeah. there's some string in there, oh well. Right. I'm not that worried about it. I guess announce, oh. <laughs> I'm not it cleaning up, am I? It would be if you make a little mess, so it's not a real. Okay. Um, I suppose me announcing on TV or, or on Zoom that I'm a bit of a hack well, no, doesn't I exactly mean, bathe people in comfort. Everyone has their style cooking, and they're really, I feel like there's not a right and wrong way. I That's mean, true. For I example, agree. and maybe this is wrong, my parents always, uh, uh, with their carrots, they always, what do you call it? I'm just peel it. their carrots, peel mm -hmm. their carrots. So not, yeah. I never peel my carrots. I don't know if that's a bad thing to do or not. I don't think it is. That might I think be it depends. Um, but it just depends. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it depends. So I'm going to keep cutting this. Yeah. Cube it up. Cool. Those of you okay. with your zucchini, I think Let's we're about to it. move into that. So. Okay. De sticker. Although. <laughs> I've eaten mm, stickers yeah. before. Mm. <laughs> stickers, them's nature's candy. <laughs> <laughs> As if they grow on trees. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna. So we de stickered. De stickered. <laughs> now, again, we have a rolly produce. I've cut myself a lot of time. So I'm going to slice it down the middle, kind of finger on each side. I mean, I've cut myself this way too. I've punctured my, 
Right. So I think you yeah. want things just as stable as possible. Yeah. Right? Like and Cheryl, the nutritional health coach in the room said, um, there are additional nutrients in the skin. Good to know. Oh, oh I thought she was going to say in the blood of your cut. <laughs> 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 not sure about that, but let's not add your own blood to the rest. Okay, yeah, that sounds that sounds solid. <laughs> okay, so now these ones, I and actually for these, I don't even roast these all the way because um, zucchini seems to be a little watery yeah. sometimes and yeah. also gets mushy pretty fast. So I par roast them is that a thing what does that mean i don't know like i don't roast them all the way because when the chimichangas in the oven they're going to continue to cook oh right bit. right a bit not that much Got it. yeah i don't know what you call al dente for produce <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're going to call it we're going to call it al dente <laughs> all right oh cool so so far you got like half moons there yeah half, i don't know if you should call it half moon. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> the close up camera, sorry. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, right oh, yeah, he's got, got it on there. Got it. Yeah, these go here. Cool. Okay, I'm just going to move this aside. Actually, I can put the, I toss it with oil before I put it on the pan. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that makes sense. So we, we can put the squash in here. Yep. You put the, zucchini in here how's everybody doing anybody have any questions about squash versus zucchini the butternut versus the zucchini so so far we're adding them to some bowls right now so we can add some oil and in a second we'll toss it but yeah. we're gonna get to work on an onion, onion. okay an onion i actually i'm, I'm sorry i'm gonna interrupt so we're just slicing the um, zucchini lengthwise in half and then right. we're doing half then we're doing half moons and that's it yes and okay. then put it in the bowl the moons are chunky we don't want them super skinny they're i don't is this okay there we go there we go. Avocado. There we go. Okay. you they're, see that melissa they're pretty chunky if they get too i got it excellent okay. thank you yeah if they're too thin they're gonna cook way too fast right yeah that's basically the idea yep that's cool. the idea okay it's onion time onion o'clock but what i was gonna say is i accidentally when my kids were little i taught them how to say food names wrong just because i think it's funny to perfectly <laughs> pronounce things so i would always call an onion an onion yeah but it wasn't until like my oldest daughter came back from a play date when she was like five and she's like mom it's not a cukey ombre. It's a cucumber. <laughs> <You're> a <laughs> <laughs> like a monster. <laughs> sent them out into the world. <laughs> it's like, that no, nobody eats cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Yeah. Well, or. <laughs> Cabbage. <laughs> Actually, what was worse was I called the office the orifice. Oh, yeah. That was maybe too far. <laughs> 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 okay, same thing with the um, onion. I don't remember, did I put onion in the zucchini one? I don't remember. Uh, there's an onion in the recipe, in the ingredients. Okay, yeah, recipe. it'll be fine. Yep. So, okay, so yeah. if you're making zucchini, I'm going to do a finer dice for my onion. So I just do thin slices. There's a million ways to cut an onion. But you're going to go with pretty thin, small pieces. Thin, small pieces for the zucchini. They're going to be bigger for the. Oh, I see. Are you going to dice that up further or are you just going to have the. No, oh, I'm going to dice it. She's going to keep dice. Okay, cool. So we have some really small yeah. diced up onion pieces. Yeah, and they're not all even because that, that's, that's too painstaking for me. Yeah. And everybody should have their ovens preheating at 450. I don't know if anybody came in after I announced that a number of times. And then I'll just recap while this is happening. So we've cut up, if you're doing butternut squash, we've cut up our butternut squash. If you're doing zucchini, we've cut up our zucchini and we're adding onion right now into the bowl. Now, would the onion also go with the butternut squash? Yep, okay, but so bigger, I'm gonna do it bigger. Got it. So you did really thin, small slices for the zucchini. Uh -huh. You've added that into the zucchini bowl. Yep, so this That's is how together. big. We're 
avocado. Right. Aguacate. <laughs> <laughs> I think just I think just every five seconds I'm gonna say avocado just to <laughs> so this is how big my I guess that's what is that even a mince? Is that a fine dice? I don't know. Yeah, either way. Almost, yeah. And, and so then, that's with your zucchini. Yeah. But now you're going, you're going much bigger. Big. For the butternut squash. Yeah. So these ones. So you've almost cut it like inches, a couple yeah. inches. This is how big it is for the squash. Okay. So quite also, a bit bigger. I feel like, I don't know. I'm going to overthink it now. But and, um, <laughs> Jamie and Alexa and Dana were wondering half an onion for one type of squash or a whole onion? A normal amount. Whatever you like. Honestly, I like a lot of roasted onion. So I would put a whole, I mean, yeah, well, a whole onion right in now, that. But we did a half in each bowl, but yes. you would do a whole onion. Yeah. 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 Cause so, I think ooh, roasted onion and butternut squash is right yummy. On. Go for the whole onion if you feel up for it. Yeah. yeah. We'll say right. half to whole based on your preference. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like to cook real loosey goosey and it probably could also depend like if you did butternut squash how big was the butternut squash you exactly. know if you had a really small one then you might go half an onion or you know exactly so. yeah exactly. like i think sue had a smaller squash so she might want half an onion i remember her thing yeah yeah so it's potato time are you guys ready should i slow down and tell a joke <laughs> she's she's <laughs> <a tough woman. laughs> How's everybody doing? Is everybody ready to start on the potatoes? No, nope, yeah. still cutting the onion. Okay. All right, joke time, Joseph. Okay. What did zero say to eight? Zero say to eight. Something about seven. What's that? Nice bell. Nice bell. Nice <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, did you, did you put the in with the zucchini. One more time, Joanne. Did you get in with the zucchini? You're breaking up a little. Did I? Yeah, I know. Did you put the onion in with the zucchini? Yes. 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 Gotcha. Yes. <laughs> onion and zucchini go together. Yeah. So whether you're doing the butternut squash or the zucchini, you have onion in there with it. And then Sue was saying, please clarify measurement for one fourth butter. One four, one quarter cup butter. Oh, one quarter cup. Thank you. One quarter cup butter. Sorry. Which equals a stick of butter. Oh. Uh, I think a stick of butter is half a cup. Yeah. Oh, half a cup. So half a stick. Francis is showing us. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. Sorry, yes. But more butter, more better. <laughs> 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 okay, cool. So we've got the potatoes here. Is it are we ready for potatoes? If you're doing zucchini, if you're doing the squash, you don't need the potato. Okay, so if you're doing the squash, don't worry about no potato. potato. If you're so we're just doing the potatoes for those using zucchini. Yes. Excellent. And I'm going to dice these pretty small because they cook pretty quickly. Now, here's just a question. If you were doing the zucchini and you wanted to make potatoes. Absolutely. You could, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt anything. No. Anything. So no. Francis said if you have a stick of butter with the marks on it on the wrapper, it should say a fourth cup on there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah good point. Good Thanks, point. Francis. I'm sorry. We're leaving the skin on the potato. I do, but you make okay. do as you like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If if um, these are beautiful potatoes and the skin, like if it's a russet, that skin is a little, you know, chewier. If you want to, maybe if you want to put this camera here and um, it can show going I can reach across carefully and kind of show a little too close. Oh, too close. <laughs> okay. So that's about oh, I can't see it there. how big. We're going pretty big pieces, I guess. Is the point. Yeah, you know, it's too big. Oh well, it's gonna be fine. Yeah. You know what? What I make this all the time, and I feel like every time I have this recipe that I love that I tell my friends about, and then they come over and I make it for them, it never turns out. Yeah. So it's always different every time. 
Yeah, well, sometimes I'll make I have stuff that's like always consistently good. Anyway, yeah. So I am a little worried that like this recipe that I make all the time and that I've been <laughs> hyping up super big for about a month now it's is going to be a disaster. <laughs> if your experience is anything like mine, I think we're okay because it's usually when I make stuff for guests that it doesn't come out as good. But th these guys are actually making it themselves, so I think we're okay. That's yeah. right. So no matter what happens. You're going to be, mmm, this is good. <laughs> if yours didn't turn out, that's all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So we're chopping the potatoes up, and I would say about as big as we were chopping the squash. The squash. Maybe? Yeah. I yeah. Mean, but it's smaller than the zucchini. Yeah. So whatever your comfort level is, I mean, potatoes Actually. are going to take longer to cook too. Yeah, I know. So I think I'm... you can err on the side of smaller. If you're yeah. like not sure yeah. how big you want to chop your potato, I think smaller. erring on the side of smaller. And the reason safe. why I added these like, is because when I roast them, they get real crispy on the outside, ooh, and nice. it kind of makes I don't know. Like I don't want all my stuffing ingredients to be mushy. Right. Like I want something to have a little substance. Yeah, you or... want some variety in terms of texture. Absolutely. Bite into yeah. Nice to have a little crunch in there. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. So our potatoes are kind of finishing chopping right now. So if you're doing zucchini, you would have zucchini, onions, and potatoes in a bowl right now. Zucchini, onions, and potatoes. And if you're doing butternut squash, you might just have butternut squash and onions. Yeah. But you might throw potatoes in too if you bought some potatoes and just feel like tossing them in there. Okay. To olive oil? Is that it right there? Olive oil, yes. Okay. It is. So I don't skim. So I'm gonna put some olive oil in there. I don't know, that was maybe two gone, tablespoons. I would say like three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Two to three tablespoons of olive oil inside the bowl with all your vegetables. Yeah. That's what we're doing. All right. I think, I think, I'm not a scientist. Yeah. But I think <laughs> what More happens is, you know, <laughs> wait, did you have this portioned out perfectly? No. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> I think if there's not enough oil, I don't know. Never mind. No, I'm I retracting that statement. When I'm roasting it gets mushy. I or like to air on the side of more oil yeah. because I want it to really cook yeah, well. And sometimes exactly. if it's not covered in the oil properly, it cooks weird. It yeah. It kind of burn. Or, okay. Okay. So now. So we've got our oil in the bowl. We're probably going to stir it up, right? Yep. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Oh, nice. Um, do we Much. have some? Yeah, good. I normally just. I mean, Me I wouldn't put my fingers in this one, but yeah. this is also, this is a, a preference as far as amount. I mean, I guess, what is that? Half that, a teaspoon? Half a tablespoon. Yeah, I always, Ooh. I don't, yeah. But let's that say, a, that's about maybe a teaspoon, a teaspoon. I would say. Teaspoon of salt. Oh, maybe half a teaspoon. I would, well, as I add more. <laughs> like, yes, do yes. half a teaspoon <laughs> as I add more. <laughs> yeah. I think salt is definitely one of those things that people have their preferences of, you know. Well, here's the other thing. And this happens all the time. I because I am a hack. I don't like to wash dishes, not even measuring spoons. So I, mm -hmm. I'm always guessing. Um, not always. A lot of times, if you don't have enough in the beginning, you you almost can't recover. I mean, you can't recover from it, obviously. But I don't know. Yeah. I like to have it roasted in. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Right. So I've all your salts about a teaspoon to a tablespoon or so. A teaspoon. Maybe not a tablespoon. Maybe not a tablespoon. You're right. Yeah. Teaspoon a salt. teaspoon. Yeah. As I said, I don't even know what I'm doing yeah. right now. <laughs> okay. That's the fun. A wee bit of pepper or to your liking. So a pinch of pepper, you know, maybe a... Maybe two. A, a teaspoon. Two. Yeah, know. whatever you like. So like we have salt and pepper in the bowl, too. <laughs> salt and pepper. Okay, sorry. Cool. That's a... Get that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Okay. I just use my hands. I don't know how you Go feel about it. that. Is that okay? Go All right. Oh, yeah. That Go way I can way. make sure every little bit is covered. You know what? We might need another pan. Yeah. Actually, so? well, because here's well, the thing with right like roasting. Yeah. You don't if your all your veggies are crammed on, it steams. It doesn't roast. So you don't want them like touching on top of each other. I mean, they can right. kind of be touching. We won't put that one in. I don't. I'm the phone. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you um, want to be able to spread them out is the point. Right? Yeah, you want a thin layer on your pan. Okay. I think that's yeah, what cool. you said. Yeah, so maybe we'll grab another pan. Let's grab another pan. Okay, let's do it. Thank you. I wish it was like that at home. 
<laughs> but you have an assistant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we need two cans because we have butternut squash and zucchini. You know, most of you at home probably only have zucchini or butternut squash. Only so one can. We're going with two cans. You're probably yes. good with one. I yeah. Assume. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right. One, one second, Tim and Josie. Uh, I noticed a couple of people just logged on. Um, if y'all okay. are going to cook along, uh, you need to start preheating your oven at 450 degrees. Um, and then we need to try and catch you up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, unfortunately, we haven't really done too much. We've chopped. If you're doing zucchini, you chop the zucchini, chop the onion, <gasps> add some oil and salt and pepper. Do you know who that is? <laughs> I see you, Aunt Elaine. My Aunt Elaine from Orange County, California. Oh, yeah, she just logged on. <laughs> nice. Welcome to Cruise Bay. Woo! Welcome, Elaine. Now I have to behave. <laughs> just kidding. She's the least well-behaved person she I know. as you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So okay. we're spreading out. And just, yep. This looks good already. Yeah. She an air okay. review here. Oh, we can. Yeah, we should get okay. avocado. There we go. Woo! What there kind of was. pan are we putting it in? Oh, a sheet sheet pan? Yeah. Sheet pan. Yep. And you, uh, use parchment paper if you have it, but you don't have to. Oh, thanks. okay. Is that better? Can you hear us better? Yes. Uh, yeah. Can you hear okay. you yeah. That's much better, Joanne. Thanks. Okay. These are going in the oven right now. I'm going to set uh, my timer for like 15 minutes. Cool. Okay. Is there a timer on here? Yes. Okay. Let me get one here. Okay. It might take cool. a little longer, but okay. we'll okay. 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 So we'll put right. Go ahead, Micah. Uh, question. Micah's got a question. Cool. Uh, so just to clarify, on the pan, is it just the vegetables or is there salt or oil or anything? Is it oil. I put about three tablespoons oil, and you don't even have to measure. I put all the vegetables in a bowl, and then I put the oil in and salt and pepper, and I tossed it. And if you feel like there's not enough oil, just add a little bit more. You want everything nicely coated in the oil. All right. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. All that went in the oven. So yeah, yeah and then it'll go in the oven, Micah. And then. So right now, basically, we have. The vegetables cooking. That's kind of what we're doing right yes. now. Yes. And I'm still setting my timer for 15 minutes. I'm just going to look at it after 15 minutes. Smart. Okay. And then we're going to see. I'm not going to mess with it. Resist the urge to stir. That's always yeah. my difficulty. I yeah. Just, I always want to look. I always want to stir. Yeah. Uh, okay. So okay. if y'all put your uh, pan in the oven when Josie did, she's got a timer set to 50 minutes. We're going to check in on them then. Cool. So that's happening. It looks like we're moving on to our cabbage. Now it's cabbage time. Cabbage time. Cabbage. Cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> now I have new words to mispronounce. <laughs> uh, you know, if your cabbage is great, because this is one of those produces that lasts forever in your fridge. Mm -hmm. but, so if it's if your outer leaves feel funky, go ahead and take them off. But yeah, this one's I gorgeous. usually kind of do that too. It's kind of like they're pre wrapped. You don't need to wrap yeah, yeah, it. It's like an orange. Yeah, yeah. you just take off the outer layer and it's good. Okay, so you're cutting the cabbage right down the middle. Cut it in half. All right. Now we got this little area here we kind don't of want. Stem looking part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just cut that out. Here, I'll show you. I don't know how other people do this, but I start at the top. I kind of just carve it out. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. That works. Cool. And then yeah. it's out. But out it's done for it. Nice. Yeah. I don't know. I suppose you could cut it in quarters, but okay. Now for this, we want a super thin slice. Okay, so we're gonna like cut real small. Real thin. Real thin. Way that thin. I don't know if you can see here. Yeah, I think that camera we were on there. Was good. There we go. Okay. Nice. So, yeah. They, it's almost, it's almost yeah. kind of shredded. Yeah, yeah should, uh, it's almost kind of shredded. Get yeah. to work here, too. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Yes. 
That's good. <laughs> I have to tell myself, I get a little bored. Like with me, like sometimes I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, I just gotta be done. But <laughs> I know my tendency is to go quicker, too quick. Uh -huh. so then you forget things or just make mistakes. So I wonder if now would be a good time while you're cutting, if you could do two things I one, can. Tell us about Josie's art lab. I prefer it. Is. it. It's, well, it's, uh, I started out doing those um, paint and sit style classes where we all, you know, you would paint a painting and I guide people step by step, um, you know, like everything, like really simple, like pick up this paintbrush, mix this color with it and mix these two together and we go step by step. But then I do other classes and, and I've seen um, those paintings, they turn out really cool. Yeah. Every yeah. they all turn out a little bit different. Everyone's is different, it's, yeah. And people are able to make their own personal choices. Okay, when I get to the endy bits here, if you want to, I'll go avocado me here. So this is where now it's a little scrunkly, and those are professional terms. Sorry mm -hmm. if you don't. Mm -hmm. Scrunkly. scrunkly. <laughs> yes, I'm familiar with scrunkly. Continue. <laughs> so I don't like cutting this tail bit like this so then I just kind of come down and you know so I have a flat bottom here mm -hmm. yes yeah, so you've got rotating things yeah to be able to chop as safely and I was gonna uh, say it looks much safer that way even even with this so I finished this half of a cabbage it's a lot. I'm going to this is still a longer bite than I I like to shovel it in real fast <laughs> I don't want anything slowing me down. So I'm going to cut this in thirds. Like you can kind of see the shape of that half sure. cap. Yeah, it still looks like a cap. So I'm going to go like this and like this. So it's kind of in thirds. And now these slivery pieces are, what is that? Two meters? Just kidding. Like <laughs> Josie, I love you. <laughs> I'm familiar with the metric convinced. system. <laughs> <laughs> well, was that Tara? You were starting to say something. I might even be convinced to take an art class, even though oh. I can't draw stick figures. But the way you talk, I can relate. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. This is how I teach painting, too. <laughs> Lucy Goosey. <laughs> yes, yes. A scotch. Uh, you know, those are my, pardon my reach. Go okay. for it. <laughs> All right. Oh. Which I usually, until my children turn five, call bowels. Also, <laughs> not a good, fun word to say. <laughs> yep, put yours in there. Okay, so really quick, you did the sip and paint classes. Paint when you sip do classes. Like after school stuff. I do after school right? stuff. Summer sure kids, summer kids stuff. art classes. I also do art camp for the adultish, uh -huh. where we just kind of do different, I don't know, whatever I feel like doing. Yeah. Like sometimes we're carving prints, sometimes we're. Painted paper collaging. I don't know. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's fun. Yeah. And your studio space is awesome. It's pretty gorgeous. Yeah, it's a nice it spot pretty, to go learn how to. It's very paint. inspiring to be in. And, and I don't, I don't take full credit for that. Like the lady that remodeled it. Yeah. Uh, did an amazing job. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, cool. Okay. Now, onions. Let's get yes, these green, so onions. green onions. Yeah. Let me move this over here. Sure. So we've got our cabbage all chopped up. That's being put to the side. And now, I, I put a link in the chat to um, Josie's website. Thank nice. you. Of course. Okay. So if we can. Uh, okay. 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 On there. Cool. Yeah. Sorry, there's just too much back and forth. Okay. So these outer bits, uh -huh. I mean, the scrunkly bits, mm -hmm. <laughs> I just peel those off. Okay. All, okay, all yeah. yummy and good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I think for the amount of cabbage that this, you know, cabbage is like the magical multiplying vegetable. The more you cut, the more there is. I don't know how it works. Mm -hmm. um, so, how much would you say this is? I don't know, six cups, four cups? <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. This much, <laughs> I think I would only use maybe three or four. Um, Green onions? Yeah. Four. Yeah, I think four. Uh, if it was more, you know, 
So would, you don't need all of it. You don't yeah. need all of them. You can put it to the side and save it for something. Like I said, his dad yeah. forgot to buy cabbage, so we're having salad instead, LOL. <laughs> no worries. Um, yeah. It's yeah. all going to be good. Okay. These Still from... going to be good, Micah. Okay. So I am going to cut the butt sauce. Or the heads, actually. It looks like hair. Yeah. <laughs> That's gone. Gone. I'm going to slice these thin, and then I'm going to mince them. So, thin. As thin as you can. Super thin. Right. What was the question? I'm not cutting green onions. I'm never sure how far down to go, but... Are you going to cut the whole thing? I'm going to cut. I go until I start, until it looks like, I don't think I want to eat that. Yeah. That's, cool. that's my <laughs> that's about what professional I do. opinion. <laughs> or, or something more like leaves. Though. I guess we'll yeah. see where she draws the line soon. <laughs> These are beautiful green onions, but like this little doohickey, maybe not. Yeah. Um, sometimes I have pretty old and woody green onions. Like, yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Maybe there. So most of it. Most of it. Okay. But I'm going to mince this up even more. Okay, so that small chop, you're chopping even smaller. Yeah. I mean, and again, it depends on how you like your onions. This might be, even this might be a little too much for that. But it depends on how oniony you like your food. Okay, here we go. So, to this, I'm going to make a little nest. Oh, nice. A little hole in there. And I'm going to put some onions in there. I think that might be too much. So I'm just going to put. We're overhead. Right okay. Yeah. So I made like a little nest inside my cabbage. Mm -hmm. That's now what it's forever going to be nestled called. Nestled in the cabbage. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the green onions. Onion. Okay. So I maybe two would have been enough, but we can set that aside for yeah, so later okay I like you put like about a handful maybe a little bit yeah, more yeah, handful yeah. and a half of green yeah. onions and a handful yeah. of chopped yeah. green onions yeah so okay there we go. cool now oil we're gonna warm some oil mm -hmm. which one do you want to use if this one's fine cool. yep and we need about a maybe a three tablespoons of oil okay is there more that looks That's... like one table. i mean yeah. We already, we've already established that I don't know measurements. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm out of jokes. Okay, okay, okay. okay. No, this, is, this is my favorite one. And it's even food related. So there's an oven and some um, muffins are baking in the oven. And one muffin says to the other muffin, geez, it is getting hot in here. To which the other muffin says, ah, a talking muffin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Be here all night. Yeah. <laughs> Give your waitress. <laughs> okay. So uh, maybe for this amount, like when I make this cabbage, I usually make a lot because I like it with everything. It's like a, like if we have stir fry, I like it with it. If we have, anyway. Cool. So make it, it it's good for days. It actually lasts a long time. Cool. Week. And sometimes even then I'm like, oh, it's getting a little watery, but, but I'm going I'm to eat it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So about <laughs> this amount. Are we doing olive oil or vegetable oil? You could use either. Actually, vegetable oil might be better with this. It's a little okay. less strong of a flavor, but you could absolutely use either. Okay. Good question. So, Thank you. Yeah. I'd say about three tablespoon-ish. Three tablespoons ish, ish is in the pan okay. or top. And now is this on about I'm gonna warm this up. Okay. I'm gonna warm this up until it's not quite smoking. Yeah. The only way you can tell what that is is once it's smoking, I guess. I don't know. But it, we want it hot. We okay. want it hot. Sometimes I th and this might just be me, but like when it starts, when I pick it up and it can kind of like move quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know it's not so syrupy about. anymore. Yeah, it's like, yeah. 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 That's how, usually how I know. Or maybe you hot. start to see little teeny bubbles. bubbles. Yeah. Not boiling. Don't boil. Sure. Yeah. Josie, yeah. do you um are you going to be putting the um cabbage and onions in the pot with the heated oil? No. Okay. Question. I'm it does not, not need to be a big pot. Ours is no. pretty small. Yeah. I'm going 
going to be pouring the hot oil over the onions. And Francis asked if we're heating the oil in a pot or a pan, a small pot. Yeah, like a small saucepan. Okay. Or saucepan. Um, but then it not only does it kind of temper the onions, it also flavors the oil to be oniony. Mm. Nice. You can do it okay. in a microwave too, heat up your oil. Oh, I only have a red box. I don't have a microwave. <laughs> 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 I keep my bread. I don't Never mind. You could. I think yeah. you could. You absolutely could. Wow. So, okay. So we're going to be pouring the hot oil yeah. over the, okay, over oh. the onions. Yeah. We'll put the onions in a little hole in the middle and we're going to pour yeah. the oil on it. Nice. Yeah. Like and they're going to sizzle. Yeah. Absolutely. If we do it right, which we're getting close here. And I can smell it. I think that's how you can tell too, yeah. right? Yeah. You smell that oil? That's true. Yeah. You can start so I'm getting up. blamed for not paying attention. Can you walk through what the steps are again really quickly? Okay. <laughs> like all the way from the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> like with a butternut squash? No. Just the oil and the oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. oh, okay. Thinly sliced cabbage, minced green onions. Make a little hole, like a little nest. Oh, I keep looking at your face, but really this is how I look at your face. <laughs> Make a little nest in your cabbage and put a handful of green onions in the nest of your cabbage. Do not toss them together. Right. Meanwhile, I'm heating about three tablespoons of oil, and it can be olive oil or it can be vegetable oil, over a medium high flame. Like we want it to get hot, hot, because we want it to sizzle. Let's see, is it gonna sizzle? Nope. Oh, almost. Yeah. There was a little sizzle, there was a little sizzle, okay. Jamie, oh. did you get all those steps? Cool. Then I poured my hot oil over my green onions, not over all the cabbage, just the green onion part. Oh, okay. It was a little sizzle. Yours might be a little more of a sizzle, who knows, but ours. Yeah, sizzle, sizzle good, sizzle good. Okay. Now, and we can reuse this for, we can, I'm not even going to wash this because that we'll washing dish is such, we'll put our butter in there. Okay. Cool. Okay. And now we need salt and sugar. Salt and, and I sugar. always forget yes. the proportions for this. How much sugar did I say? Uh, you said a tablespoon. a tablespoon of sugar. And for this amount, maybe half a tablespoon of sugar okay. and then some salt. Okay. So over my sizzled green onions, are we all there? Or should I slow down a bit? Okay. I'm going to put. I think minute. we're good. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I caught one step, but I dropped the other. That was good. <laughs> so just trying to make sure you're all paying attention here. I do child care as well. <laughs> I only dropped I a couple of them. <laughs> I may have dropped one, but I caught the other one. Okay, anyway, <laughs> sorry. Too far. Half a tablespoon of sugar? About half a tablespoon of sugar. Maybe more. Maybe three. Quarters. I don't know. I'm already starting to spiral. Oh, you know what I hear? Our timer. Oh, oh right. Okay. Keep doing that. So Josie's timer for the oven is going off. So we're gonna check the pan. The Ooh. recipe. The recipe says one tablespoon. Are we gonna for sugar? Are we gonna use that for something? The rest for no. something else. No. It's it's kind of proportionate. One one tablespoon of sugar is for like a pretty big head of cabbage. Okay. It's kind of a okay. smaller head. Okay. So I'm using less. Okay. Did, did I miss it? Did we do something with the sugar? No? I, I put the sugar over the green onions. Okay. okay. Now we're going to pivot. We're going to just pause here and we're going to see how our roasting vegetables are going. Awesome. Let's check on them. Okay. Let's see. So it definitely needs way more time. Okay. I want crispy potatoes and... Potatoes are not crispy. Yeah, so yeah, let's can see that. Our, So they're gonna go back in. And let's see how our squash is gonna let's see the protein. So if people do have crispy potatoes, pull them out. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Maybe your onions are a little brown in places too. Ooh, what you got there, Jamie? That looks good. Okay. <laughs> these two, I can they're getting pretty soft. I'm not stirring these because. If I stir them now, they're going to get a little mushy. They're going to mush together. So I'm putting them back in the oven. Once they have like a crispy crust on the bottom, then you can kind of carefully toss them. 
Excellent. Uh, should we set a new timer? I don't know how long yes. maybe we want those. I would here. say, so I'm going to reset my timer. I was going to do 10. For it. We can do five. No, I don't good. know. Let's start with 10. <gasps> a little, little dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Look out. We got to get a more. Uh, okay. So. Oh. Okay, so we have our cabbage, we have our green okay. onions, you put the, the oil on top of the onions. Yes. And you put your sugar on top, on top of the onions, of the onions. too. That's and all now, in our bowl right now. That's all in our bowl right now. Cool. Okay. I know, I'm going back and forth, but... <gasps> oh, we forgot. That's okay, it's not too late. Carrot. Carrot. Or we can break the carrot. Yes. You may peel it, you may not peel it, just mm -hmm. to... Um, I sometimes don't peel it, so... So create this carrot. Create Feel it. your carrot if that's your preference or don't. If that's your preference. But now I forgot this. That's on me. I would normally be doing this with the cabbage, but it's, not, it's never too late. It's never too late. Okay. okay. I know. I'm looking everywhere all the time. <laughs> okay. So wait, if we um, are, let's say we're restarting over on our car uh, cabbage situation, we can mix oh. the carrot in with the cabbage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't stir that. We're going to toss it all afterwards. What you want to do is you want to keep those onions nestled so that it's easy to oil just the onions with the hot oil. But the carrots and the cabbage can be friends. Yes, they should. They can fraternize. <laughs> yeah. So we're just peeling our carrots right now. Great. And maybe we'll sprinkle Great. them over the cabbage or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The only part that is kind of the important part to keep them separate is the onions so that the oil can right. cook those. That's really yeah. good. So we've not made any big mistakes here. No. Are we using the finest grating on the grate or the? The big one. The big, the the big, big hole. Thank you. Good You're question. welcome. Yeah, good question. This, I think my grandmother had a grater like this. Yeah. <laughs> That's Alan Cameraman's grater. Yeah. That's one of my is that yours? This yes, is, yes. This is it's great. A, it's a prop. It's actually, it's a, <laughs> oh, no. a prop a grater, but well, no, no, we used it last time. We did. Yeah. We needed a grater for cheese. Okay. I was like, oh, no, I need a grater. And Alan the cameraman pulled out a grater. Oh, this is that pack out of your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Micah has a question, y'all. Go ahead, Micah. I just wanted to introduce everyone to my little co-chef who decided to pop in. Aww. <laughs> What's your name, Micah? This is Charlie, and he loves food. Oh, hey, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's very cute. Hey, Charlie. Thanks, Micah. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. So right now we're throwing our carrots on top of our cabbage. Yep. Not on top of the onions. Probably. Oh, well, that doesn't matter now. Oh, okay. Now cool. that the oil's there, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, now. I'm sorry, folks. Can I interrupt? Sure. <laughs> Micah, this is for you. Are, do you want to be a chef when you get bigger? He's already Over. a chef. He is? That's right. Oh. You muted, Micah. <laughs> uh, I, I am considering doing it professionally. Awesome. Cool. You already got an early start, so you're, you're part of the way there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And um, Francis wanted to know if she can put the carrot in when she tosses it all together. Yep, absolutely. Sure. Nice. Go for it, Francis. Uh, good question. Yes. Okay, salt, some. I'm going to start with a, maybe three quarters teaspoon. It really, it's, it's tr tricky because it's like, how big is your cabbage? I don't know. So this one was a little smaller. So maybe I'll start with half a teaspoon of Salt, yeah. And maybe a little Salt bit. based on the size of your cabbage. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. like, like more. <laughs> It'd be like a kid's book, I guess. <laughs> How big is your cabbage? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, okay. All right, now we need um, some red wine vinegar. I see yeah, you've got. You. Or you could use rice wine vinegar. Oh, nice. Um, which I often use, rice yeah. wine vinegar. Yeah. I don't use balsamic is too rich, um, and I don't use cider vinegar, but I mean, I don't know. Sometimes I've been in a pinch and I'm like, how am I out of vinegar? And I've used lime juice. So, yeah. you know, no it wasn't terrible. 
I don't yeah, still do it. Sense, so yeah. <laughs> it learned not great either. There, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna add I out. added I added lime juice to mine. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be. I mean, I've added cumin to mine before. Makes sense to me. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, okay, so I'm gonna add about three tablespoons. Make it your own. Of red wine vinegar. Of red wine vinegar. You're dumping it right on top of the onions in there. I yep. don't know if that matters. But. Not really, because we're going to toss them all. Right. You have a tong, so or something were too, yes. too tossy. Or I could use my hands. So yeah, this. two whatever. I've got two spoons right here. Wait. Oh, wait here. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Actually, God, even better. Oh, okay. I got You're it. Right. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I like to wash as few dishes as possible. <laughs> even even I like to load as few dishes as possible it's into true. the dishwasher. Sure okay. Tim appreciates that. Yeah. <laughs> as the one who will be washed. He'll get home sooner tonight. Yeah. I'm going to put that over there once it's mostly tossed. So toss it all together. We got our cilantro. Uh -huh. yeah. I like a lot of cilantro. Oh, Josie, uh, Francis wanted to know if you said three teaspoons or three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Tablespoons. Good question. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Like cilantro. This is this will be a lot for that amount, but I would do it. You're gonna use all the cilantro. I might. Yeah. It's a personal tasting. Maybe you only want a little sprinkling of cilantro. Yeah. Although my experience is either you love it or you hate it. Either yeah. you want it all or you want none. Yeah. So is Michelle Caldera still on there? I know how much she wants. <laughs> I think <Yeah>. she is. <laughs> None. <laughs> yeah, some people in cilantro, some people take it different. Other people. Yeah. Yes, she responded none with an exclamation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had such beautiful cilantro that I used the entire bunch because it was it was spectacular cilantro yesterday. Gorgeous. Nice. Yeah, they, they often have very nice. Oh, I can smell it too. I know. Okay. Really good. I love cilantro. In it goes. Let's we're gonna toss it. Okay. Oh, now we want to make sure all of our vegetables are coated with, you know, the oil. Like there's a there's the dressing. We basically made a dressing in a weird order. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Cool. I think it looks, it looks awesome. good. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it smells good. You know, the only way to really know is give a shot. It's just to take that. Oh, I should have used. No, you're good. Good. Taste it. How is it? Can you tell me. It's always good to give things a shot. Yeah, I think then it needs know. a little more salt. Unless I didn't mix it good enough. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, a little more salt. Maybe even a little more vinegar. But it tastes great. Oh, good. Yum. Might have more salt. So after you toss your slaw, maybe taste it, see if it needs more salt. Yeah, based on your preference. Okay. Make sure I'm not putting any Okay. Oh, baby. This going, our vegetables are still roasting. Yeah. Yours might be, maybe they're done. Who knows? Okay. This is just going to wait for us. Okay. For eating time. Let that right. put it aside. That's done. Nice. What we can do now is. I'm going to check on our vegetables cool. just to see. I don't know. Did my, yeah, I got about a minute left. So I'm going to check on my vegetables. All righty. Let's see how they're doing. I'm, I just finished <laughs> dropping up my cilantro. So did you add it in to the cabbage and then uh, mix it? Yes. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you. No problem. The, the veggies are still cooking. Okay. I'm going to put another 10 minutes on my vegetables. Okay. I still haven't stirred them. They're like getting soft. They haven't built up a little bit of a, is it a crust? Can yeah. I say crust? Yeah. Yeah. And that's cool because, yeah, again, like my instinct would be to like <laughs> stir it all up and throw it back yeah. in there, but now I'm going to resist that urge. Yeah. See what happens. I don't know. I don't know. No, see, I, I think you touched on this earlier, but Sue's cooking for one person and she asked, how long will the slaw last in the fridge? At least a week. That's what I thought. At least a week. I Sue. put it on sandwiches. Yeah, it gets better until it doesn't. Until it doesn't. 
Better for a day or two. <laughs> yeah, it gets a little watery. Use the crunch is gone. But man, I've eaten it. I mean, sometimes, I don't know, I just need a little yeah. something. So, uh, yeah, you I put it on all kinds of stuff. Mix it in with a lot of things. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, okay. Uh, let's rinse our beans and crumble okay. our feta. Cool. All right. I'll get the feta out of the fridge. Oh, yes. Oh, no. I'll go downstairs real quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So, got the feta. All right. I also got my butter out. While I'm waiting for my vegetables to finish, I'm gonna get uh, about a quarter of a cup of butter and I'm gonna put it in my saucepan. Okay. I previously housed my oil. And you didn't even rinse it out, you're just throwing it in there. The butter? Yeah. You didn't rinse the, the pan. Yeah, not that, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought you were saying, no, I didn't rinse the butter, Paul. <laughs> I don't know Please what don't. you're making at home, but I don't think you're supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah. You wash your butter. <laughs> wash my dirty butter. <laughs> okay. And it melts more evenly if it's not just a big quarter cup wad. So I'm going to cut a couple slices like this. Cool. Excellent. Just put them in. I'm not even starting that yet. I don't want it to get too hot too fast. I'll wait till my veggies come out before I... So you're not heating the butter yet? Not yet. Okay. Okay. There. Butter. And then we can pre-grate, uh, pre-crumble our cheese while we're waiting. All right. I mean, you know what I'm going to do? What I would do? These onions. The green onions? Yeah, I'm just going to toss with our filling. Nice. I don't like to, yeah. Why waste? Don't waste. Exactly. Okay, well. So if you still have some green onions, you might make some use of them in a moment here. No big deal if you don't. Yep. Okay. Now. Got the feta. Uh-huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crumble half of it with these. Actually, all of it. The black beans are going in everything. And in case you missed it, I opened a can of black beans rinsed them, right? Yep, yep. So I okay. and rinsed the black beans. So those are in a bowl. We've got our feta. And I'm going to crumble it over the beans. I'm going to crumble All right. it. Hey, uh, Josie Francis said her saucepan isn't really much bigger than her hand. Is that big enough size? Perfect. You can melt that butter. It's yeah. fine. I actually have one of those cute little small enamel saucepans. That's what I would use, too. Awesome. As a matter of fact, I've used it so many times. I've got the oil so heat, it almost also acts as a measuring cup yeah. because it was like a burn mark. No, the, use this, this one. No, we won't use that. Okay, I'm crumbling all of this cheese with the beans. Nice. With the beans. I'm not mixing them together because we're going to, I don't know. So you got could. the beans on the bottom, the cheese on top right now. I may as well put those in. Throwing the onions in, the green why onions, not? because why not? Because why not? But the most important thing is the beans and the cheese. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yes, Francis, you're only putting the butter in your saucepan. Okay. So our butter is in the saucepan. I need to make a clarifying question. How much, the whole eight ounces of cheese on top of the beans? Yes. Yes. I mean, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I, that's what Live I Live a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got yes. two, but I think you only need one, right? Well, looks like we're doing two. Okay, cool. So we could use both. So we got our chilies. We're going to open those up, huh? Yep. Okay. I don't know. Again, personal preference, I suppose. Oh. Are those good? I opened it already. <gasps> oh, okay. I, was I see. Testing I see. The, uh, the can opener. Okay. Woo. Nothing worse than a bad can opener. <laughs> I wasn't sure what kind of can opener we had here. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to be live on here with a bad can. Make sure it works. I don't blame yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't true. think I have a can opener. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So we're opening our cans of chili. Yep. Yes, Mary. The 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 whole um recipe is available on our site. If 
if you email me um, tomorrow, I can make sure to email you the whole recipe and make sure um, you have uh, the instructions and stuff. You, you have my email and your Zoom confirmation. Mary had to go, wanted to know if the recipe was available somewhere. Cool. So now sometimes there's a lot of juice in these green chilies, sometimes not. So Would you drain them a little I, bit? I mean, kind of, just a bit. I don't want it to be too juicy in my, like as my chimichanga is cooking. Yeah, I don't want it to be too runny. Yeah. That makes sense. I would have thought of that. So squeeze them out a little bit. Great. Cool. Okay. And let's plop those in. And so somebody asked one can of green chilies. Most people just need one can, right? Yeah. yeah. I think so. Good question, Katie. Okay. We you want to put that one in? Yeah. Uh, let's check our veggies. Sorry, we added the chilies to the bean mixture. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So now we have beans, cheese, and chili inside the, the chilies inside the bowl. And and Mike asked, what container are the beans going to be topped with the cheese? Wait, I'm not sure I understand the question, Mike. What container? Mike, can you just unmute and ask your question? Let's see. Oh, thanks. Is it gonna burn? Oh, uh, oh do you want me to? Well, I'm trying to decide if we should toss it a little bit. Okay. Do you have a like a spatula? Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, I need that. Okay. Yeah, just Some gently, gently that? toss. Yep, gently toss. Wait a sec, y'all. I think Mike has a question. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. So the question is, where am I putting the beans? Top with the cheese and throw some chilies on top. You're just letting them, they're hanging out for now. Where? Where? In another I have them all in a bowl. Down the street? Where? Okay, where? Yes, under the bridge, wherever they like. No, I have them all in a bowl. Yeah, bowl. it's in a bowl together right bowl. now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank no, you. I'm sorry if I skimmed. Okay, so question, Mike. if we could get a drop view here. Okay, so this is what my squash looks like right now. Like I can see little bits like a char. Yeah, right here it's starting to get a little goldeny brown. I don't know right. if that's more like that. that when I say it like that. <laughs> so I'd like more of that. So that tells me I'm gonna put it back in. I we did a gentle toss. We don't want to scrape or toss so vigorously that it starts to kind of break them apart and mash them. Okay. So toss them a little bit now. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to check our zucchini. So you can toss your vegetables a little bit before you throw them in, back in, but be yeah. careful. And same with this. They're starting to get a little brown in places. So now yeah. I, feel, I feel like it's a good time to start tossing. Toss these as well. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Thank you, Chef. <gasps> oh! <laughs> It's funny, I just read uh, like a meme or something about what if Bob Ross hosted the Cooking Hills Kitchen and Gordon Ramsay did painting with Bob Ross. <laughs> oh, that chicken's a little raw. That's okay. We're just going to get a little more. That's okay. Okay, so that's going back in. Yep, going back in. Did you guys see how that, like, some of those onions are even getting really kind of brown. That's uh -huh. okay. I'd rather have them kind of crispy than some of my potatoes are getting crispy. I'm guessing, I guess we could find out. I'm guessing they're soft all the way through. Yeah. I would just puncture like the biggest one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty soft. So they're all cooked. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of crisping them up a little bit. All righty. Okay. I'd say maybe five more minutes. Five maybe minutes. ten. Sounds good. Okay, now, well, this is awkward. Now we wait. <laughs> so where did you learn oh. your skills? Like, oh, just I, I mean, like, did you yes. learn being a big part of like growing up? Did you like? Uh, people had hoped it would be, but it was <laughs> not. I had no interest. And then I thought I could just wing it. I made so much bad food. Yeah. So much bad food. One time I made a thing of lasagna and there was way too much tomato sauce in it. It was like soup. <laughs> but I didn't want to waste it. 
So, no, no. <laughs> That would have been better than what I did. So I thought if I got spaghetti noodles and kind of lifted up the middle layer of my lasagna and put raw <laughs> spaghetti noodles in there yeah. and then put it back in the oven, that that would probably be just fine. <laughs> or it was not. It was like soup, but then there was like this thick, pasty center. It was oh, no. Terrible. It was terrible. Hey, uh, I think Micah has a question. Go ahead, Micah. Micah, did you want to unmute? Uh, yeah, right, my unmute button is right by another button, so it's really hard. But um, <clears throat> um what? So just to clarify, so our beans, our cheese, and our chilies are in one bowl. Yeah. Right? Yes. And then, and then, and so were we supposed to? Were we supposed to melt some butter earlier? No, I while I was waiting, I did get the butter in the pan, like. I was waiting, so I just kind of got things ready. We're gonna melt this when our veggies come out, but they're in the pan. Oh, okay, thank you. We're just waiting on the butter. Right yeah. Now. And then um, Jamie, Alexa, and Dana asked, did we miss adding corn? Asking for a friend. No, <laughs> that's right. We missed adding corn. Hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Hard out. laughs> Thanks for asking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the corn is for dessert. <laughs> We're going to eat it frozen. Just get a spoon and eat it right out of the bag. You guys oh. save some sugar for your corn, right? There is, do you have a strainer? <laughs> strainer? Yeah. Yeah. Same one that I just used. Okay. If, anyone, if anyone needs a snack, we just tasted the bean feta chili combo. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. Nice. Yeah. nice. <laughs> No one's telling you how to live. Do it. <laughs> so, uh, back away. Sorry, I, I okay. That could be a good dip. I put it on salads too. Salads are yeah. it's good on salads. So I'm gonna take about I don't know a cup, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put it in a strainer to thaw it fast. I just run hot water over it. And Tara said, "I'm going to have to jet, but this has been a blast. I love Josie with a red heart." She said she'll do her best to figure out the rest of the project. LOL. I'm sure you can. Yeah. Okay. And you can always look on our YouTube channel later. All right. If we're gonna run some water. Hot water. Hot water. Yeah. Yes. You put this back in the freezer, but there's no. Yeah. Put safely now. Okay. Put it right here. Hey, work. What was that, Mike? No more time to go. Come on. Mike, did you have a question? We can't quite hear you. I think you just accidentally unmuted. Okay, I'm going to mute you for now. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle said, uh, I love Josie too. If she does this again, I won't miss it. Well, then you're going to want to join us. I think it's on May 25th next month because she'll be back with a new recipe. Well, thank you. The people love you, Josie. Well, <laughs> oh, okay, so we got a little love. <laughs> so okay. we got our corn. Yep, let's so check it out. Let's rehash really quick, you guys. What did you do with the corn? You added warm water to it? Uh, we put it in a strainer just to kind of do a quick thaw. Oh, okay. And then ran hot water over it to thaw it. Excellent. Yeah. It doesn't thank have you. to be perfectly thawed. It's fine, but just so it's not rock hard, you know? Sounds good. Okay, let's check the veggies. Cool. Awesome. Oh yeah, I think we're good. Looking good with the veggies. Cool. Yeah, I think so. Excellent. Excellent. Cool, we start working with the zucchini. Okay, yeah, Sweet. so we'll, we'll get two bowls. Two bowls. Yeah, sorry. Okay. The zucchini and potatoes are done, kind of crispy-ish. I should have cut the potatoes smaller, but okay. Now. Francis said, I cooked the veggies for a little too long and the onions are a bit burnt, but the potatoes are really good. Oh, I, Actually, I don't worry about those onions. These onions are a little crunchy too. Ours are too. I think it's going to be crunchy. Yep, good. Yeah, it's going to be good. Why don't we, we do it the corn once we... Ran the hot water through it. 
Just let it's on standby. Okay. Just okay. set aside. Okay. I'm picking, I'm picking all of this. You're gonna put it in Come the bowl. On. I'm gonna put it in the bowl. This is the real reason you have parchment paper. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful transfer system. I am sold. Yeah, okay. okay. Look at that pan. Look at the sheet. Look at that pan. Ooh. Perfectly clean. I doubt it. When you said about clean, I was like, no, that oil, no. all those juices are going to soak through. Ah. That is going back in the cupboard. Whoever invented parchment paper. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I'm missing all these steps. Where are we putting the, the roasted vegetables? I put the roasted vegetables in a bowl. If you're only doing okay. one topping, you can combine them with your beans, okay, okay. cheese, and your chilies. Because we're about to put them all together. We're about to put them all together, but this is going to be divided between our two toppings. Got it. So Got it. now, if you want to do this with other vegetables like cauliflower, red peppers, uh, I mean, anything, anything. You just have to kind of think about how long these different vegetables cook. Sure. So you're kind of, you know, adjusting the dice of them so that they cook at the same time as the other. Anyway. Cool. Cheryl okay. said, my sister says, for someone who doesn't like dishes, that's a lot of bowls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry, In I had to share that one. Fairness, I'm not doing dishes tonight. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> You are generous enough to be here. And I would have even used this one. Yeah. Yeah. I reuse stuff a little too much sometimes. So no. you do, you, yeah. It's yeah. a lot of fun. And Katie okay. asked veggies in with the beans. I put the, right now, yes. Sorry, short answer. We're doing two fillings. So I have my zucchini, corn, and potato here. Mm. And in the other bowl, I'm going to have the squash and onions. Cool. And then I'm going to divide my bean and cheese mixture between the two. You're just doing one filling. So go ahead and add your bean and cheese and chili mixture. Cool. Good question, Katie. Okay. Thank you. So yeah, so we, to the answer, we will mix it all. They can mix it all together. The yes. beans, the cheese, the chili, the zucchini, yeah. or whatever you have, that can all go together. Absolutely. Perfect. Cool. So we're getting Look, we have a cameo. Jamar. <laughs> There's our old chef. Okay. Next bowl. Okay. So we're going to put that on one. All right. With the beautiful parchment paper that is once again Ooh. working wonders for us here. Thank you for saving my life. Yeah, you're welcome. Wait. <laughs> First time I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. we've got, so why don't we just like, you know, if we were to almost put one aside, we could just, because most people are working with one yeah. filling, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so do you want to just work with the zucchini maybe for now? I, I mean, Let's do a bowl. Let's do a bowl. Okay, so we're going to put our... more opportunities to roll in case there's questions of rolling. Okay. Oh, true. A spoon or something a light, or how about that little one? Sure. That little one. There you go. Not to be too particular. Okay, so zucchini, corn, potatoes. Oh my. Okay. Looks delicious. <laughs> it, and it will be delicious. I, I mean, <laughs> it's looking like it time might will, be. <laughs> time will tell. So I'm going to put half my topping. I'm going to add my bean and cheese. So you might have already done this. But we're throwing in our beans, our cheese, our green onions. Yep. So right now we've got all our vegetables, well, all the roasted vegetables with the beans, cheese, and everything in one bowl. Yes. Nice. Okay. At this point, their whole mixture should be in one bowl. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. Toss gently so we're not accidentally mashing. I've seen a lot of color. <gasps> beautiful. Oh my. Yeah. Nice. I mean, I literally, well, when you when you see how it goes and how it tastes, like if you have leftover meat, if you have a rotisserie chicken, if you have, I don't know, I do I do this as a way to use leftovers too. Yeah, right. Sure. So, yeah, you can mix this with all sorts of things. All this sorts could go of over things. Rice. This could, uh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. It can different beans. Okay, so here we go. Got that. Okay, now 
I'm going to turn my butter. I'm going to melt, the, melt butter. the butter on medium low. And now I'm going to change the temperature of my oven to 475. Right. Cranking it up now to 475. Wait, sorry, the, the coin still sits by itself in the strainer, right? Or did I miss something? Uh, what was that question? Corn. The corn, she was asking if the corn sits in the strainer. The corn, no, is mixed in with everything in the bowl. So we have our roast vegetables, yeah, our corn. Okay. Yeah, okay. Melissa, all your, all your mixture should be in one bowl at this point. Except the coleslaw, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Good point. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, I'm just crumbling up some of this cheese a little more. Okay, so what's our next step? Ooh. We're gonna melt the butter. We're gonna That's melt melting. the butter. Can we do anything with our tortillas at this point? Yep. Can I open them up and start Please. getting them out? Okay. So everybody should be med melting their butter at a medium low heat right now. We're also getting out our tortillas. So oh, my favorite good. tortillas, the casa. You're good with it. You can get the tortillas out while that butter is melting. And I am going to if you don't have parchment paper, I like to butter the bottom of the pan. If you do have parchment paper, where's that, where is that over here? Yeah, I would butter that too. I mean, cool. okay. okay. So here's my pan, not quite yet. Not quite, okay. I'm gonna get a little butter. You can use a brush, you can use a washcloth, you can use a, Napkin. A napkin. You your hands. The butter yeah, we're yeah. spreading the butter. Francis asked, "How many tortillas?" Uh, It'll probably depend on how many you're going to make, right? Yeah, so and how? I would say at least six. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. I mean, for yeah, I think so. Yeah. Now, would you recommend making a bunch if you're not yes. going to eat them all tonight? Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. I we they're good cold. So They're yeah, good. even if you're just making it for yourself, you can still prepare a bunch of chimichangas and put them in the fridge. Yeah, you can okay. totally warm them up in the oven or the microwave. Like, Excellent. I send them in lunch at my in my kids like in a wrap. I yeah. mean, they're... okay, cool, nice. Okay, so we got that buttered. What's we got this butter. Step? So tortilla me. Tortilla you. Okay. Consider yourself tortilla. <laughs> All right. So now I'm gonna take. I'll take any spoon. I can have that one. Ooh. Our butter is getting a little sizzly. Go. We don't want it to burn, so just let it, once it's melted, move it off the burner. Turn it real. Okay, we're gonna roll these babies up. Nice. All right. So, how much are we gonna put in? I mean, you don't wanna overstuff it, but you don't wanna understuff it either. No, we're trying to be generous here. We're yeah. generous folks, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Fill that baby up, maybe. Okay. okay. So that looks like about a Cup and a half. Maybe. It might be too much. No, it's you know, good. It's good. It's good. You're it's eyeballing good. it. You yeah. know, it's... If it starts oozing out the sides, you've gone too far. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to fold those sides over. Okay. So we should we go for aerial view. Aerial yeah. view. All right. So it's in the center. Fold those sides over. Fold this over. Wait, hold on. We should go back a second. Okay. So if we fold sides over. Well, we're going to do this several times. Yeah, that's true. So, okay. Fold the sides over. Uh -huh. I'm folding the side closest to me and I'm going to tuck it under. Oop, get oh, in there, baby. Good. Tuck it. I've made a lot of these. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tucking it under this, the um, filling. The filling. Thank yeah. you. And then I'm going to fold those corners over that edge. Oh, okay. So my fillings don't ooze out. Nice. So you fold the sides and then mm -hmm. you kind of roll it away from you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Let's do some more. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. It's kind of tricky on that parchment paper, so I'm going to do it right here. Cool. And I'll do one by me as well. Okay. We'll see how Great. horrible my technique is. <laughs> okay. So. You know what? I'll do that. Yeah. Where if you have like a team with your family or friends, you start putting people to work. Uh -huh. yep. Although that's a sure way to end up in a fight. Especially if it's family, right? Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, get it in there. You're gonna fold it on the side. Uh -huh. yeah. And I kind of, my top part is a little narrower. We're going over that. Wow. I just wanted to make sure everybody could see Jamar working in the kitchen right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm making sure that our toppings are enclosed so that as it's heating, they don't ooze out, although they might anyway, you know. We're doing our. Yeah. This is exciting. Oh, oh, now I know you've got to get out more. <laughs> I've had it. Okay. You know, and if you don't have green chilies, you could easily mix some salsa or salsa verde. Or, oh, sure. I don't know. I mean, there's all kinds of yummy jars of sauces around that could be good. Yeah. A little bit more. Right. Snuggy, snuggy. Boom. Get in there. Okay. So see how this corner it's just a little bit more narrow. Mm -hmm. The edge isn't gonna flare out when we cook. Okay, babe. Okay. In. I flipped over. Now I'm gonna use this to kind of tuck those veggies back in the center. Boom. Now foldy, foldy. Lock and seal. Again. Okay. Right. Words. Professional words. <laughs> it's not <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No little gaps. Yeah. This is what work for like uh nice like sandwiches too. Yeah. I'm always impressed with people who can make a good wrap. Yep. I find that tricky. It just okay. looks like a good burrito wrapping method too. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We got more topping over there. Out. Yeah, okay, no, I don't want to brag or anything, but I think <laughs> you were you were doing a lot of teaching. I was just kind okay. of going, going for it, and I'm sure yours. And anything you have left over? Oh, uh, add it to scrambled eggs tomorrow morning. Uh, put it on a salad with your favorite dressing. Yeah. Put it Put it on a piece of toast and melt some cheese on it. Okay. So, oops. I don't know about you guys, but we're going to have a lot. So, you should have hopefully some leftovers. Yeah. Tuck those um, corners in. I'm crazy about my technique on this one. That's okay. You know what? It's it's all going to be good. I bet we can do one more. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Oh boy. Thank you. <laughs> Danger, help! <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. And everybody should have switched their ovens over to 475. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 475, and we have like nine kind of like burritos made right now. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. I totally missed what we did with the butter. We haven't done anything with it yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we did spread it out. melting it. Besides melting it, okay. we did put a little bit of it on the parchment paper or the pan, Melissa. Yes. So we did spread it out in the pan. Yeah. Okay. But most of it we're going to use in a little bit here. Okay. All right. It's time. All right. So now I'm going to use the butter. I think we're going to spread. All right. It. Now we're going to use the butter. Okay. All over nooks and crannies, edges. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I think normally chimichangas are like deep fried. Yeah. Which I'm not. That's that's not in my. I have too many dishes. Yeah. Then you, you need a deep fryer. God, yeah. It, it always seems like good. it wastes so much oil. Like mm -hmm. I, I just I can't do it. Man. This I'm might be a little healthy. Are sure. you? <laughs> 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 and I know it seems like a lot of butter, but we're not going to even use it all. Yeah. Like, and I'm not, I'm not being stingy with this. I'm getting it, you know, top edges. Excellent. Okay. So Jesse, I'm assuming you're not doing the bottom because you buttered the pan. Exactly. But I am doing the um, sides. Yeah, the sides. Yeah. Get it in Any, everywhere else. Yep, any place I can fit more butter, I will fit butter. 
<laughs> Buttery okay. goodness. Do we throw them in? Yep, we're going in the oven. You know, and you can kind of space them out so they're not, you know, same thing with our roasted vegetables. We don't want them too close because we want them to get nice and crispy. Okay, incoming. Ready? You know, open it up for you. Woo! <laughs> All right. All right. Now set your timer for 10 minutes. All right. 10 minutes at 475 with those chimichangas. And at this Start. point, you're just waiting. Uh -huh. those 10 minutes and uh -huh. you're ready to eat. Yeah. At this point, if I'm really on top of it, I'm washing the last bits yes, of the dishes. Absolutely. So that yeah. that's I guess that's how you can tell you're old. Like you get really excited when the kitchen's clean by the time you sit down. To eat. Yeah. Oh, what a great feeling. Wait, can I bring these home to my guinea pigs? Of course you can bring them home oh. to your guinea pigs. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Do you, so, uh, while, while we have uh, our chimichangas in the oven, does anybody have any questions or need any help finishing up the recipe? Looks like everybody's just plugging yeah. away. Right. Good question. What, you, we were talking earlier about like shelf stable, like staples that you keep in your kitchen yes. all the time. Yes. I think one thing when I was like learning how to cook, and I'm still you know, obviously learning, but when I was getting better at it, I realized that part of the game is just like, keeping your kitchen stuff for things. So like, what are some things you keep in your kitchen all the time? It's different for everybody. Well, I have a new, okay. I always like to, menu planning has always been fun for me. Yeah. And I, I'll, I'll go through different, you know, like theories or, especially when my kids were young, mm -hmm. I would have like, we'll have Mediterranean week and then all our leftovers will go together. Okay, I had a lot more time then. I, I wasn't working, <laughs> yeah. but whatever. <laughs> now, my new theory is I like to have the shelf stable stuff, beans, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, yes. um, rice, rice, quinoa, all those, green, all those beans, are good. green chilies, absolutely. And then, um, you know, whatever freezer stuff. Frozen vegetables are always yeah. good to have on hand. Yeah. Yep. And and frozen mozzarella cheese. When it's on sale, I get a lot and I put it in the freezer because you don't even need to thaw it. You can just like crack off. You do the same a thing. Bit. Yeah. yeah. Freeze cheese. <laughs> and then I don't menu plan. I have all that stuff and then I just go to the grocery store and whatever produce is on sale. Then I then I build around that. Yeah. Nice. You know what I do sometimes too is, is I look at what I have mm -hmm. and if I don't know what to make, I Google. Like I pick three or four ingredients uh -huh. and I just put recipe at the end. So it'll be like black bean, cabbage, uh, feta, and I just uh -huh. put a recipe at the end. And then Google Does it just gives me a bunch of recipes that have those three ingredients in it. See, but I, and sometimes I open things up and I realize I have more than I thought yeah. and I can make something cool, you know? I always end up down a rabbit hole and then all of a sudden it's 10 o'clock and no one's eating. I'm like, what? I just picked like 17 recipes for next week. <laughs> <laughs> and the recipes are so long. Yeah, you're going to hear yeah. the story first. Yeah, skip that. Yeah. Skip right Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm going to put a link in the chat um, to um, our resource page where we have a resource called A to Z World Food. And often I'll go there, Tim, and just look up like green oh. beans or something they have at the market. You know, something I got a lot of at the farmer's market. What's cool is it'll give you recipes from around the world that use green beans or cabbage nice. or whatever. Nice. So if you have a library card, you can access it from home with your library card. Ooh, cool. Nice. Very good. So I assume with these chimichangas, they're going to be a golden kind crunchy. Of brown crunchy. Yeah, they're going to be crunchy. I mean, fingers crossed. You never know. You yeah. never know. Yeah. Um, actually, should we? Can I move? Yeah. Let's Start get let's some get things. some of this stuff out of the way. Yeah. Here we go. Where should I put it over here by this? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna stuff here. How's everybody doing with their recipes? Everybody got theirs in the oven? Excellent. Oh. Dosi, are we are we resisting the urge to look in the oven? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, they're Not still yet. Going. So um what did you watch on TV last night? <laughs> <laughs> so I would imagine this one, well, maybe this is one, but like if it's a night and people are hungry and you don't know what, do you have certain recipes you like? Like what are your go-to if it's like already going on 
seven thirty and everyone's hungry. And you didn't uh, have anything planned. Well, actually, next month I I cycle through things like. I get on jags where I'll eat the same thing over and over again until I can never eat it again. So right now it's that hot lava recipe. Which uh, is next month. Which yeah. is next month. Convenient plug. Uh, thank you, recipe. thank you very yeah. much. Uh, uh, sometimes I'll just start with the thing that takes longest. Like literally I'll start cooking rice or I'll start roasting potatoes. And I'll be like, okay, I have it to the rice or the potatoes are done to figure the rest out. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, sheet pan dinners, yeah. kind of all those veggies and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's just, usually I like open the fridge and I'm like, what can I combine with these things? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do we got? Sure. Oh, I got one mushroom left. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. There's your umami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been into Chinese food lately. Ooh. I got a Chinese a cookbook from the library, it's a vegan cookbook. And so I'm nice. exploring that. Yeah, the really library nice. probably has tons of great cookbooks. Oh, oh we have a lot. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That's actually to get back to how I learned to cook. I would go to the library and I would check out an insane amount of books, like the limit, like 25 books. And I would read them like novels after my terrible spaghetti lasagna. <laughs> I've given, this was before you could print stuff, like in the 90s. I would write, I would hand copy, like I would put post-it notes and all the recipes I want to keep. And I would, I had a notebook, I would hand copy yeah. all the recipes down in. I still have them. I still that have them. That was your culinary training, right? I guess so. I guess so. You I came home so. with a bunch of books and you. And I would just read like it was a novel. Everything. It was, See? Yeah. yeah. Yep. And I, I put a link in for uh, Josie's recipe next month, her hot lava, cheesy yeah. white, cheesy bean spread. And um, yeah. Joanne asked, taco or potato bar? Not sure. Uh, oh, maybe that's her go-to if she has oh, something to make. It just have a lot of time. Oh, okay. Uh, right, right. Question. <laughs> my, my older daughter is vegetarian, so... We do a lot, a lot of salad bar, taco bar, potato bar, oh, rice yeah. bar, so people can put what they want on. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so that's our go-to. Awesome, that sounds yeah. good. Throw them in the chat if you all have other ideas too. Thanks, that. Or, or you can unmute. Or you can unmute. Yeah. Oh, it's taking forever. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it feels when you're hungry. You know? Let's see. Break it up. We got. Yeah, I mean, it's already at four seventy-five. Better not. I know. <laughs> That's what they do on a cooking show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so great. <laughs> no, usually they put them in the oven and they say, and then when it's all done, it will look like this. Yeah. And they like yeah. pull out a finished one <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So do you have a favorite meal you've ever had? Not that you cooked. Oh. A memory of somewhere. It didn't be I fancy. Mean... It's somewhere you were and there's just the perfect setting and you're eating so something. many I wouldn't even be able to begin to narrow it down yeah, I mean I for as much as I like food I also have a really low bar like I've eaten well do you remember when the farmer's market had hand dipped hand cut onion rings no oh, that sounds well, really good I saw one on the ground <laughs> no <laughs> it was still hot it was still hot but <laughs> you ate it well, it's not really socially acceptable to do that. So I sat down next to it by a bench and I put it in my purse. <laughs> no. And I slowly walked away and then I ate it oh. like a mature person. I didn't yeah. just sit there and eat it. And now you're immune to all kinds of things, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, you're never gonna this get is sick. terrible, I know. Because I have a feeling like I'm talking with three or four people, but really now everybody knows my theory. Yeah. So do you recommend uh, eating off the ground? Uh, yeah, eating off. The ground. <laughs> <laughs> that Katie off said her go-to is mac and cheese or homemade pizza. Oh yeah, Ooh. homemade pizza is a great one. Yummy. Yeah, we have great pizza dough here in the co-op. Oh. I don't need to plug, yeah. you know, but uh, hey, Josie. Yeah. yeah. Is there any um, significance to this recipe? Did you, does it have a story? When did you start making it? Did someone teach it to you? Did you make it up? Uh, no, myself. I think I was going down a rabbit hole on Pinterest. Like you do. Yeah. Like I do. And I think I saw it, but it called for like chicken and 
But once I made it and it was so good, it just started, we put it, stuffing everything in it. Like sometimes we'll even go a little Mediterranean, like zucchini, feta, and um, right, like fresh oregano or tzatziki next to it. Or yeah, this is like you can improvise. almost do anything with it. I haven't had it bad. Oh, you know what would be good? Like what about a breakfast chimichang with like scrambled Ooh, eggs, yeah, yeah. leftover roasted vegetables? Yeah, oh. that's good. Yeah, what we just uh, what we just made the roasted vegetables with mm -hmm. some like eggs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. that would be super good. Scrambled. Thanks for joining us, Karen. Have a good night. Karen has to go. She said thanks for the cooking class, okay. Josie. Yeah. Okay. Thanks no for joining problem. us. Okay, let's see if this is done. All right, Mike, our timer's going off too. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. So Mike said his timer was going off, and he asked, "Now what? Did you check your chimichangas, Mike? Are they golden, crispy, brown?" Delicious looking. Don't 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 eat them yet. They're really hot. Yeah, yeah. You'll probably want to give them some time <laughs> to cool down. But yeah, I think if the chimichangas are done, you're done. Yeah. Right. Our yeah. Salad if they're golden, salad. golden brown, you could probably pull them out, right? Yeah. Crunchy, crunchy. Yep. Yeah. Salad's crunchy. all set, and you and, could put uh, a. This is the last step. Yep. Yeah. This is it. I can imagine some salsa or sour, sour cream. Sour cream. Absolutely. Yeah. They are half golden brown. Half? Yes, half. But half? <laughs> the top half. Well, that's top good. Yeah. Maybe a little bit longer? Maybe How a many? few more minutes? Yeah. A few. 10, like 15, three? Uh, five. Five. Try five. Try five. Okay. Try five more minutes, Mike. If they're like almost golden brown, I don't, I want to pay attention to them. Oh, but boy, I read, I almost burned some the other day, but I didn't burn them. But I was like, oh, shoot, maybe I've been under cooking them this whole time. Oh, all right. Were, Katie's are golden brown. She said, thank Ooh. you all. Have a good night. Enjoy, Katie. Uh, thank you. You're going to hold it up? Can you Thanks hold it up? Thanks for joining us, Jennifer. Thank you. Oh, yes. And if, if you could all please send me pictures of your completed meals, I would, I would appreciate it. Before you start eating. Oh, nice job folding them up. Oh, nice. Oh, good my job, God. Katie. Look good. Yeah, yeah, those look good. You all have my email and your Zoom confirmations. Please send yep. me pictures of your completed meals. We'd love to share those out. Yeah. Stacy said, thank you. Yum. Thanks, Stacy. Great to see you as always. Thank you. Yeah, well, good seeing you. Thank you. Pictures are coming. Oh, thank yeah. You. Crank it up. Yeah. Uh, the up arrow. Oh, I see. We're turning ours up a little bit, but you know. But don't burn your chimichangas. No, what a nightmare that would be. <laughs> but also accurate. I mean, that's. Yeah. I'm already starting to pick up your accent. Accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Can, you Can you hear me? Uh huh. Oh, yes. What's your question? Well, where are you at? I mean, like, it looks like a commercial kitchen somewhere. They're at Coos Head Earth. Food Co-op here in Coos Bay. Oh, the food co-op. Really? Yeah. They have a kitchen there? I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that we have a full working deli here at the co-op. I had no idea. I had no Sandwiches idea. Sandwiches available every single day, soup and salads and all kind of delicious stuff. So juices, juices, fresh, fresh pressed juice. And yeah. So come yeah on most weekdays you'll see them back there prepping stuff for the deli. Food, okay, you know. I'm just there to get my supplies, and I, uh, you know, got a box, threw in the box, and walked out the door, and uh, didn't know you guys had a kitchen there. Interesting. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. good good sandwiches, salads, um, okay. soups. Dude. I really like the black bean soup. The lentil ones know. are always really good too. Was that a Moroccan lentil, Tim? Yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. That's a good one. Wow. Good one. Yeah. Our split pea is pretty popular. Yeah, that's a good one too. Okay. So yeah, stop in sometime. What's that kale salad I get sometimes? Uh, so with mustard, yeah, mustard yeah. Salad. kale, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Test my deli knowledge. So yes. <laughs> Cheryl wow. said my tortillas are gluten free, had to be warm first, and are kind of falling apart, so not in the oven yet. We'll send pics later. Awesome, thanks, Cheryl. Go ahead, Micah. Micah has his hand up. Um, I just realized I forgot to put the corn in is there anything i should do i think it'll be okay without the corn you can even decide way. yeah yeah i think it'll be good without yeah. the corn micah all right yeah. night
You can take a bite. Thawed, you can throw it on your salad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Salad. That's a good idea. Great idea. I always forget about corn on salad, but I always like it when it's there. Really good, yeah. I turned it to broil. The insides are all cut. Oh, broil dangerous. Yeah. That's when I burn things. I, broil it. <laughs> <laughs> I walked away for five minutes. So th we have a good question here that I want to answer. Uh, Patricia said, any chance you could give the recipe the week before so I can get a chance to go in and pick what I do not have already? Patricia, I usually put all the ingredients up about a month before. So if, uh, if you, um, if you click on the link, wait, is this it? Yeah. So I just put a link in chat. If you click on that, you, you can see all the ingredients and recipe for the May dish already. You can always find it on the Coos Bay library, um, ca calendar events page. No. Good question. Thank yeah. you for and the co-ops are available behind the register a week before. Yeah, so you can access the ingredients of the co-op a week before, but we always have them. I post them on Zoom and usually send everybody a reminder with the updated recipe, but I also post it on the library's website. And Susan said, I enjoyed getting my ingredients earlier too. Thank you. No problem, Susan. No, yeah, thank you. Um, Susan said, I've enjoyed listening and watching the show. Everything sounds yummy. Thanks, Susan. Always a pleasure. Nice. I think we're pulling ours out right now. Ooh, let's see what we got. Do we need a drum roll? Oh. <laughs> Iron. <laughs> <That's sad. laughs> Customers flee crying. Cats and dogs. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Howling in the streets. Yeah. yeah. These look awesome. These are like, but that's good for rewarming if they're not. Holy brown, then you can broil them. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. Is that considered done then if they look like that? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Those are done, Mike. Good question. Aren't, uh, okay. Oh, you're for your job. oh, yeah, that's right. I guess when I'm at home, I don't worry. Boom. Um, oh, I'm excited. And let's and get, some get some salad. salad. Look at that. Oh, crunch, crunch. Susan said sour cream and gouache. Yes. Oh, yeah. Or guac. I'm sorry. I think guac. she means guacamole. <laughs> Susan guac. said, I had to dial in for the audio this month and I heard more than usual. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm sure you heard a lot from us tonight. <laughs> Ellen, you got a place? Uh, uh, one of those. Okay. Yeah. I'll get Great. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't even know which one. You know what? I suppose if you're making more than one filling, you'd have to put a toothpick because we don't, we don't know what. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For you guys, it'll be a surprise. Surprise. We won't know until we bite in exactly what's nice. inside. Well, if you did an aerial view, Alan, probably at least oh, yeah. show yeah. off the, yeah. the plating. There we go. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> <awesome. laughs> Looking good. The yeah. temptation is to just dig right in, but I'm gonna burn my it's mouth. Pretty hot, yeah, yeah, it's pretty hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. I'd to... give it a sec. Yeah, but hopefully you're all good. Thanks and all for joining us, Francis. Yeah. Stick around if you need more time and you have more questions, or if you want to show anything off. But we're here for you if you need anything. Well, I'm glad you could at least hear Susan. Her video oh, kept going. Sure. Oh, looks. Are those golden brown, Francis? Oh, well, let's see. Let's see. He's showing us. And I ended, like up, I ended up putting it on broil a little bit just to brown the tops. So if you're if it's if you feel like it's probably cooked enough, because all the insides are cooked. She said they're browned but, around the edges. Yeah. If you wanted to, you could just turn on the broiler for a couple minutes and crisp up the tops. That would work too. Yep. Nice. This is yummy. And thank you so much. Oh, what a great recipe. Excellent. Success. Thanks for uh, trying and reporting back, Melissa. Yeah, I'll send you a picture on your email. Yes, appreciate that so much. Thanks, Paul. Mike said thanks for all the fun. Thanks for joining us, Mike. We're getting lots of thank yous. Yeah, thank you all. Yes, thank you all for so joining wonderful us. Wonderful recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful recipe. Thank you. Fun recipe. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Did you see Jamar working in that kitchen? Oh, I did. <laughs> A Good work, Dana. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I feel like it's only Jamar. 
far work. Than that. Yeah, you don't want to burn them, Francis. And, and if they're a little undercooked, you know, the next time you heat them up, they'll might just get a little more brown. So they're probably fine. Yeah, looks delicious. Oh, baby, you are having a lot of fun in here. Well, yes. We try. <laughs> Well, Wendy wow. said, thanks, Josie. Great fun. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Yes. I don't know how to make things like this. You, oh, you have thanks, to do perhaps. It's good to see you. It's actually pretty easy. It's, oh, it's oh, also it's almost a finger food. Look at this. You don't even need to dirty any silverware. Nice. <laughs> Eat it like a burrito. Let it cool a second. I'm going to focus. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Cheryl and Brenda. Have a good night. I tried the salad. What was the marinade on that salad? Olive oil, salt, pepper, vinegar. No pepper. No pepper. Red wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. A little sugar. Green onion. And that's cilantro. It's very delicious. Yum. Mindy, Shirley, what are you eating? Are you eating? Uh, Michelle said, bye, Josie. See you soon. Go ahead, Micah. You can unmute. Wait, is it? Okay. So wait, is it? How many is it? So I finished mine. How are they, Micah? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Well. I, I, uh, so hot. Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh, we're trying to look here. Hey, so, uh, sorry, my wife has a little spotty. Oh, that's all right. It looks like they got brown, didn't they? A little on the edges, yeah. It was, it was like a lot on the. It's like it gets like really crispy on the edges, but That's and probably it smells good. really good too. Yeah. So I, and then I'll I'll be sure to send you a picture. Yes, I appreciate that, Micah. Please do. Right, thanks. Nice Great job. to see you again. Yeah. Glad you joined us. Oh, oh nice work. Oh, ah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the lovely girl! Professional player. Oh my! Wow. Well, now I truly feel like a hack. <laughs> I bet Jamar made her do that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all. Awesome to see you guys cooking along together. <laughs> so, is, has everybody finished their chimichangas? Does anybody need help getting finished? I think we're good. Awesome job, Josie. Thanks so much. Thanks. Good job, Josie. Thank you. Good job, Paul. Thanks, good team. job, Alan. Hang on. What I'm an waiting. audience. Oh, wait. What's camera? It? Hang on. I don't know how to do this. There. We ah! can see wait hey. a minute. Wait a okay. minute. How do we turn this around? I don't know. Oh, let's see. If you're turn on the phone, around. just turn it. No, I'm. It's. <laughs> Can you see me? Okay, hang yeah, on. we can see the top of your head. Okay, wait, but I'm trying to, normally you just hit the video thing and it turns around. No, I think you're, okay. you turned it off. Okay, wait, hang on. Okay. More. Oh, wait, wait, there's a, there, there We're starting is. to see you now. Oh. oh, oh look at that. Oh, boy. <laughs> I made it all fancy schmancy. Yeah. Nice, nice work. Competition yeah. in the Zoom tonight. Yeah. Yes. Thank I'm, you. I'm going to have some good photos in the morning. I can tell. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to send that to you. Perfect. Thank have you. Thank night. you, everybody. Enjoy. Awesome yeah. job. Thanks. That was super fun, you guys. I told you, Josie. I know. <laughs> I, Alexa's the one who made me do it. Nice. Thanks, I mean, Alexa. You definitely encouraged me. That was perfect. <laughs> oh, awesome job. Mm. Thanks, you guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everyone. All right, I'm going to sign out and go make something boring for dinner. <laughs> oh, oh, you're just going to shave. You've got so many left over. Come yeah. on.
I, I, I don't know if I'm going out at this point, but I appreciate it. All right. Okay. <laughs> if you have one tomorrow, Tim, I might come and grab it, though. <laughs> I'll save one. Well, feed the crew first. The crew, yeah, yeah. We're eating. There's still and, uh, five still there's left. There's still five. So yeah, I'll, I'm gonna save you one. Come get it tomorrow. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Tim. I will. Thank you, Josie. Awesome job. You. Looking forward to next month.